The Justice Department says he operated at least two plants in China that were capable of producing ton quantities of fentanyl and fentanyl analogs. Yan also allegedly monitored legislation in the United States and China, and tweaked the formulas of his drugs to skirt the law, supplying at least 100 dealers across the U.S. Zhang, 38, was indicted in federal court in North Dakota on an array of drug and money laundering charges. The Justice Department says he ran an organization that manufactured fentanyl in at least four known labs in China and advertised and sold fentanyl to U.S. customers over the Internet. Zhang allegedly supplied pill presses and other supplies to manufacture counterfeit painkillers, along with many thousands of fentanyl packages, including one shipment that led to a fatal overdose. The DEA says most of the fentanyl comes from China with traffickers sending the product through the mail directly to customers in the U.S. or supplying Mexican cartels, which cut the fentanyl into heroin. President Donald Trump praised the issue of fentanyl during his visit to Beijing in November, telling reporters that he and President Xi Jinping discussed ways we can enhance coordination to better counter the deadly drug trade, and agreed to place a special emphasis on fentanyl.